Hello, everybody, and welcome to Overpass, a off-road simulator. You know, uh, we play games on the channel like uh, Spin Tires, Mud Runner, things like that. So this has been on my radar, and I looked at my email, and I actually had an email from them wanting to do a sponsored video on it. So that was a no-brainer for me. A big thanks to Nacon for sending this to me uh, and all the DLCs that are associated with it. So we're going to get to dive into this really deep uh, and see what it's all about. The game's now available on PC. PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch. Uh, you can get your copy of the game by clicking on the link in the description below. So we have some options here. We have career, quick race, custom challenge, multiplayer, and options. Options really fast. I'll show you what I'm using. I've got ghosts on automatic transmission, things like that. You can use a wheel in this game, um, but I think right now, from what I could understand, it's only one USB uh, peripheral at a time. We're going to be using an Xbox controller because uh, I really want to showcase um, how that works out for us. Full screen this is all my settings. Everything pretty much on a default uh, setting on a preset. We're going to go and go maximum on it. I think that's the highest we can go. So we'll, we'll, we'll jump it up. Uh, audio wise, very loud game. I'll have to turn this thing down. Um, turn the music off. I don't want to get any copyright issues there. There's a, a cool soundtrack with it. Uh, controls, like I said, you know, you have the keyboard layout or you have the wireless controller using the Xbox One controller. That's what we have right there. And then our credits, of course. So let's go ahead and go back uh, and we're going to start our career mode. So we want to start a new season. Uh, select the league. You have pro, elite, hardcore, um, or amateur. We're going to go with pro. I don't think I'm going to be terrible. So we'll go with pro. Welcome to Overpass. Why, thank you. Here you'll encounter a little bit of everything Overpass has to offer. And while doing so, learn how to successfully pass the obstacles and rough terrain. Now, drive out. Follow the path and the instructions as they appear. You First, got it. familiarize yourself with the basic driving Steering. controls. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. We can use our right uh, stick, click it in, and you can uh, rotate the camera around a little bit so you can see what you're doing. Pretty darn neat. Uh, when you release the right stick, you get back Overpass to this. Overpass is not all about speed. Many times, you'll need to slow down, so don't be afraid to use the brake. You got it. Using the brake. I'm just going to shut up and let him tell us how to do this. You also have a handbrake at your disposal. Apart from reducing your speed, you can perform power slides by using the handbrake while turning sharply. If your vehicle ends up on its side or you get stuck, use respawn to get back on track. You got it. Ribbons, flags, and signs help mark out the intended path. Follow them and you'll not get lost. Tearing down a ribbon results in a time penalty. Out in the open field now, tearing it up. You got it. So yeah, orbit camera, like we said. Uh, we can change the view with Y. We've got this view here, the inside view. Oh man, this is gonna be an interesting one, climbing this. And then you have the nose camera as well. Pretty cool. We'll just stick to the outside for now. Different ground surfaces will affect the traction of the wheels. You'll have less grip while on mud and sand compared with dirt and rock. Now, let's try driving over mud. It'll be harder to accelerate and turn. Okay. Let's get into some mud. Ooh, there's some mud right there. I love how it just gets all over the vehicle too. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that is a lot different. Oh, bad choice, perhaps, going this way. But we'll see. We'll just kind of baby the throttle. There we go. Have a look at here while we're climbing stuff so you can see the uh, physics in action here. That's a big log, so we'll go a little bit more of a run on it. There we go. <laughs> I think we're just going to be stuck. Maybe not. Hold on. Let's see. Give it a little bit of power. There we go. And beautiful. Yeah, that uh, that drives a lot different than I was expecting. Over you go. Don't want to do that. Use a little bit of that reverse 
action on it. Yeah, we might have to reverse a little bit here, get traction, and then go to the right. There we go. Good old off-roading, man. Patience, patience, patience. Although, I think we might be stuck on that. All right, we got out of that. I'm going to go ahead and give it some power here. We're going to try to get around this by keeping the speed up. Sometimes you want to keep that speed up. We wrecked it, and we, we can respawn. I'll show you how that works. There we go. I think they wanted you to do it anyway, so that's all right. Oh, we got through that. No problem. A little bit more speed. There we go. Avoid the cones. Okay. Hitting one will result in a time penalty. Okay, so we go this way. There's some big cones, man. Big cones. I have to hit any of these things. Oh, we touched it. Okay, well, you can't even touch it with the tire, so keep that in mind. All right, brakes around the corner. <laughs> this is the part of the off-road uh, challenges that, man, it's tough to not hit cones. All right, back around this way. I remember when this game was uh, shown at E3, and I was like, man, that's amazing, because I... Uh, really love off-roading games. It's My good Lord. to be aware of the ground you're driving on. Yeah, I've noticed. Climbing this slope will be easier if you avoid the muddy areas. Okay, we'll go for the shale, the rock slides. Oh, we screwed that up. Um, yeah, man, look at that. That looks awesome. We got an Arctic cat. Yep. Let's back it up a little bit here. I love the mud all over his face. <laughs> That egg on your face. You got mud on your face. Big disgrace. Here, let's go ahead and reverse it up. Oh, we just... Yeah, bad. All right, so clearly it's going to take us a little bit of time to get used to the physics and how everything works. Having the right speed when traversing obstacles is crucial. Drive slowly enough to avoid overloading the suspension and maybe even damaging the vehicle. Pass the obstacles between the red flags, marking the point of entry. Failing to pass correctly will result in a time penalty. All right, let's not be an idiot and uh, destroy our little Arctic cat here. We need to go slow over these things. Here we go. Nice and slow. that. There we go. Let's climb this one in uh, first person here. <laughs> wow. There you go. On this way. I love the sound change in first person. That sounds really nice. Oh, one of these. Is that this Peter is a seesaw. Seesaw. Drive up onto it. All right. Stop and let it flip over and then it. drive off. You got it. Jumping off a seesaw results in a time penalty. There we go. Like that. It's not it's hard to not want to just go crazy on this thing. Woo! Big jump there. They give you a lot of options on uh, what you can do to get over a certain spot. Ooh, when driving over it. small obstacles like rocks, a good technique to avoid getting stuck on your belly is to place the wheels onto the rocks instead of between them. Right, like we just did. Basically didn't take his advice at all. Man, I'll tell you what, after playing as much spin tires as I have, I'm mean, kind of translating a lot of that to this style of driving. But hey, it's our first day. We're going to make mistakes, and that's fine. Ooh, this is pretty crazy. All right. Your vehicle oh. gets damaged when yep. you collide with obstacles but the vehicle will not be affected by sustained damage in this tutorial. Oh, well, good for us. Oh, we're definitely stuck. Okay, back it up. All right, come on, baby. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. No. Nope. Need more traction than that. There we go. Nice and slow. Aha, got it. Man, that was a little tough uh, little spot there. Oh, we can skip the exercise if we want to, or we can continue. Okay, well, good to know. Good to know. Let's go through. There we go. Nice. We got out of there. A general rule in off-road driving is to enter one wheel at a time. Try it out by driving over these pipes at a slight angle instead of straight on. Okay. So, like this. Mm 
No, not like that at all. Man, the challenge is real on this. It really is. Okay, there we go. There's one there. Back it up. Back it up. Just don't let that tire go over that way. That wouldn't be good. Back it up a little bit more. Nice and smooth. Nice and slow. Wow, this is tough. Okay, so I went ahead and skipped the last one because we were going to spend all day on that. Now we're going to be using a differential. So let's see how this works. Enable the differential lock now. Press up on that. There we go. Up on the D-pad. She should do much better now. All right, let's try to get to these rocks. Nice and smooth. Now you can try driving an ATV. Driving an ATV is a bit different. You can use your rider as a counterweight to help keep the vehicle upright. Leaning toward the slope will prevent you from sliding down or falling over. All right, let's have some fun on an ATV. Ooh, and we can lean. Nice. This changes it all up, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Leaning into the corner like that. This is a pretty uh, long tutorial, so I'll probably chop it up a little bit. Ooh. Not make you sit through all of the uh, challenges. Ooh, that's cool. And the sounds are really, really decent. I like that a lot. Go nice and easy here. Oh, here we go. Now lean into that so we don't fall over. There you go, buddy. Just like that. Let's see what the... Ooh, here's the uh, first person. God, that sounds so good. It really does. I'm leaning in left right now. Whoa, man. I get you out of the cute camera on that one. Oh, here we go. Going downhill has its risk, too. So remember to control your speed. You got it. Nice and easy here. Trying not to kill ourselves in the process. Boy, these uh, downhills are pretty darn tricky, man. You got to lean him just right so you don't fall off. Woo! <laughs> and that mud is not helping. Almost down, buddy. Almost down. A little bit more. Taking it easy. Oh! <laughs> okay. That's how you fall off. So just counter lean and uh, go really slow. Seems to be what we got to do here for this section. There we go. Turn into it like that. There we go. Beautiful. All right. We made it through that whole section. Beautiful. Good job. Well, thank you. Here, you are free to drive around and practice. Whenever you're ready to face the real challenges, find and cross the finish line. Sounds great to me. All right. All right, we got a little bit of a handle on uh, things now. So that was that. We have a sandbox. We have tutorial. This is the main career uh, options we have here. So um, we've got our first one, which is the pipe climb uh, open arena. Yowza. We were not very good at the pipe climb, so we're going to see what we can do let's go to the garage so we can see what that's all about so here's our garage right now we've got uh in the utv class uh we've got the arctic cat wildcat sport ltd the polaris uh, ace 900 xc uh the polaris rzr xp 1000 trails and rocks uh the polaris rzr xp turbos red bull you've got the uh yx z 1000 r by s3 power sports the Arctic Cat Havoc X, 17,000. So we own these, um, but these are ones we can buy later down the road. We got that, uh, the Arctic Cat Wildcat we were driving, uh, the Yamaha Wolverine. Actually, that's the Limited. Uh, the Wolverine X2SE, the Arctic Wild, uh, Cat Wildcat Trail LTD, uh, the XX LTD. We'll just kind of go through these. The RZR RS1. You got a uh, Polaris General 1000 APS. Oop, there it is right there. Uh, Deluxe. You got the Turbo S. 
uh, the Pro XP, and then the Yamaha YXZ 1000 RSE. Man, we got a lot to choose from here in our career. Um, but right out of the gate, we have these. We can see the power, torque, suspension, the difference in all of them. Uh, we're definitely going to be rolling with our uh, Polaris RZR XP Turbo S Red Bull. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, so you can change the livery. No, we only have one on that one. Engine, we have stock, power mech. You can change these and uh, unlock those. Transmission, you've got different options. Suspension uh, and frame. Those are your upgrades you can do on it. Uh, go to the driver. Uh, you can change the gender of them to a male or a female. Uh, you got the helmet design. We're going to go with Red Bull because that's what we're going to be rolling with. Uh, gloves, you can change out whatever ones you want. They cost money, of course, but uh, we'll just stick with what we've got. And then suit, we have options. Red Bull, I think that's part of the DLC. That's the reason why we can change into that. A uh, bunch of options here for suits. Really cool that we have uh, customization options for our rider. I like that a lot. Uh, hit B on that and B on that. Yes, we'll leave the garage. Uh, we're going to be all Red Bulled up for this one. Okay, so we use the LB button. Go to management. We've got sponsor contracts we can do here. Flo Verza, $2,000 for each top three position in a challenge. Uh, and we get an engine upgrade. Uh, yeah, we're going to accept that. We'll sign the contract. Sign our life away to that. Why not? Okay, so at the top right, you can see we have a reputation of rookie. It's all about your reputation for the most part. And to gain that reputation, we're going to have to do challenges. Uh, and depending on what challenges we, we end up doing, we earn money uh, so we can buy the vehicles and all that stuff that we saw. So depending on our reputation, we'll earn points um, that will unlock more sponsors as we go along. So our main goal is basically to finish in the top eight in order to reach the world finals. So that's what we got going on here. Let's go climb some pipes. Pipe climb, obstacle course, skill levels intermediate, 918 meters, seesaw tires, sand and dirt, sunny weather three laps let's do it oh man we look pretty uh, legit now don't we starting out a career Ooh, nice sound of this one all right so now we're on a time so we don't want to mess around too much pipes can be our nemesis they were in the tutorial but looks like we might be able to do okay with this oh we damaged it a little bit there Came in a little too hot there. Let's go around the corner here. Maybe we can power slide with the handbrake. Got the tires. Full power here. Little handbrake action. Get some speed. Hit some jumps. There we go. Oh, try not to kill ourselves. More speed here. It's a pretty fast track so far. All right, got some tire obstacles. We can choose to go through them or around them. We're going to go around them for speed, of course. Oh, almost lost control there for a second. Is this a seesaw coming up? No, it looks like a just a tall... Yeah, it's a seesaw. Okay, so we got to go to the end and let it come down. There we go. There's the finish line coming up. Oh, slow down a little bit here. I don't want to tear it up too much. This is our career mode. corner we go all right as our first lap we got three of these get some inside view action on this one remember go slow on the start of this oh we messed that one up again that's all right handbrake action slide around here hit the tires jump there all right getting the hang of it now starting to beautiful around this Woo. oh first mistake but we're okay we're okay not to run into anything there we got the seesaw coming up a lot more difficult in first person, I must say. There we go. Slow down for this part. A 
Power slide around this corner here a little bit. Too much, too much e-brake on that one. That's gonna hurt us for sure. All right, let's focus up. Ooh, man, that thing just really dug in. Okay, let's see where we ended up. Can't be that great. Uh, look at that, we got first, and we messed up. Looks like they had a, a problem too, but man, this Polaris is pretty nice, I must say. And uh, we're not on the, the higher difficulties. So here's our first trial open arena. Race earnings, we made a lot of moolah. Reputation goes up, and we got challenge position, top three position, overwhelming victory. First place, congrats. We had the, a couple mistakes there, but for the most part, we kept uh, speed, and I think that had a, a lot to do with the vehicle we were using. So now we're greeted with this. We got upgrade, new frame upgrade. Uh, congratulations, you've unlocked a new item. The Moto Air FZ KX can now be bought in the garage. Very nice. So that is a look at career mode. Let's check out uh, what else the game has to offer. So we have custom challenge, uh, and you can add a track to here, and you can kind of just do your own challenges that you want, which is really cool. Um, you can even change the track uh, and then uh, make your own little uh, group that you want, which is pretty neat. But we're going to do quick race because I want to show you what else we've got here. So as far as venues go, we've seen the open arena. Uh, we have the Adriatic Coast, Old Canyon, Northern Forest, Jungle Ridge, and the Pit. Uh, once you get to those, you can now change uh, from a venue. Um, once you select it, now you can select the track that's in the venue. So we have Dust Dash. Uh, thrilling Troubles, Winding Turns, Enigma, uh, Earthshaker, Tricky Trip, The Snag, Mountaineer, look at that, uh, Dirt Rumble at Night, Impossible Road, and Pipe Climb. Um, so let's go back to Venue, and then Adriatic Coast, if we select that, now we have Long Beach, Raging Rocks, Hill Rider, Sunny Run, Sand Wedge, Two Beaches, Sand Trap, pretty darn cool, uh, and then Old Canyon, we've got Taste the Waste, Critical Edge, Dry Trial, uh, Northern Force has Wild Way, Slippery Sludge, Ridge Passage, Hot Spot, Tough Pines, Forgotten Lake, Grassy Glade. Uh, Jungle Ridge has Vertical Slope, uh, Dire Path, Bird's Peak, Jungle Trek, Rough Ascension, Green Grounds, Hollow Hill, Lake, uh, Fasic, and then Clear Cut Climb. Man, a lot of tracks here. Uh, and then the Pit has uh, Vertical Crawl, Stone Battle, Tipping Point, The Machine, raw ground and great gravel and you can see different uh, skill levels uh for all these different tracks let's uh let's do some actual forest climbing here uh we've got ridge blah blah i wanted to do one um that's sunset let's do one like in the day hot spot uh forgotten lake we'll do forgotten lake uh and now i'll show you the different vehicles um we saw a lot of these um but we have all of these uh, unlocked to us that were in the DLC. I'm just going to kind of click through these uh, and you can see, check this thing out. Azortix Rock Crawler. This thing's insane. Absolutely insane. Um, let's try the Yamaha. This one kind of caught my eye and I do want to try it out. So we'll go ahead and hit A on that. All right. So we can go ahead and skip if we want to, but I like this little fly around view. Uh, we have three laps here. Let's see what we can do. Man, this thing sounds mean. That's a very stiff suspension on it. That engine just sounds so different compared to the ones we've been driving. Wow, this thing's fast. Very fast. Slow down for this guy. I just start getting more difficult for sure. Man, that made quick work of that mud right there. Big time. All right. All right, so if you guys want to... Ooh, if you want to get this on PC, it is on the Epic Game Store. That's where I got it. Uh, and it will be on console as well, like I talked about in the very beginning. So if you're not into that... You're gonna be able to play this on console, which it's a uh, pretty fun game to play on a controller, I must say. A lot more patience than you think you need in a lot of these uh, situations. Up on here, top old Smokey. There we go. Through that water. 
check out the inside on this thing. Oh man, it's like a race car in here. There we go. Some rocks here, slow down. Oh, destroyed a little bit there. Go easy on it, but we are in free mode, so that's okay. Remember, we have to angle these. That's something we learned in the tutorial. I really like the uh, tutorial in this. It taught me a lot about off-road, and I didn't uh, didn't know. So if you're a complete noob, it's going to help you out quite a bit there. Let's see how we fared out on this last lap. I made a couple mistakes like that. That screwed us big time. All right, so we ended up finishing first on that one. We had a little bit of penalties on that second lap, uh, but uh, regardless, did pretty decent on that. I do want to try a nighttime track here uh, for sure, uh, and we'll try something different. Let's try this guy right here. Here's what nighttime looks like. Straight up the mountain. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right. Nice and easy here. Nice and slow there. Nice and slow there. Beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. We got the, the lights lighting up the whole canyon. All our off-road lights we have here. Going left up here. Ooh, man, it's getting dark now. So they have some uh, lights set up, it looks like, for us here. We go up here, go to the right, go to the right. There we go. Wow, this is crazy. Look at this. You can see the stars, that's neat. Uh, to the right. Using all my skills that I learned in the tutorial. Oh, we're going to get in trouble here, though. Yep. That inside view kind of screwed me a little bit on this one, but that, I mean, it's my own doing, my fault. Oh, we always have differential lock we needed to. Let's forget about that. All right. Is that it? That's it. We just did a hill climb. Nice. 116. Man, we're dusting them, but uh, I mean, this is uh, on easy. All right. Taste the waste, please. And we are going to just go all out and drive the Zordix rock crawler. I know that's what you guys want to see. Oh, look at this beast. Wow. Got the American flag on it. Ready to go. Oh, my. Okay. Yep. This thing is crazy. Oh, wow. It's a lot to, to handle, too. A lot to handle. Whoa, hello. Definitely a rock crawler, not sand. Not doing so hot with that. We might get into some rocks here. We'll see. Oh, my. Man, this thing's got some speed. Up and over we go. Oh, it can take a beating, too. Look at that. Nice. All right, danger. Danger, danger. All right, here we go. Use those brakes. Oh, this is going to be interesting. But look at how it grabs those rocks. Nice. That's what we wanted. Good good choice on the rock crawler on this map. Whoa, hello. Slow down. Slow down. You want to see the inside view? I'll check that out. Oh, my. Look at that. You see those tires gripping. Then you got a uh, nose camera, too. We're going to go down here. Oh, hello. We go all the way down to this. We go nice and easy here. Oh, that's not nice and easy. That's not nice and easy. Use those brakes. There we go. Well, they kind of roll a little bit more. Oh, man. This thing is really, really good on the rocks. That's why it's a rock crawler, Jeff. Duh. Oh, man. We went in that one a little hard. Almost destroyed it. <laughs> this thing is so crazy. Gotta go. Just small steering inputs. Oh, man. Or you do that. So it definitely hurts us in the long run with the uh, 
the amount of speed needed in some parts of this track, but I think we're making up for it by its ability to crawl on the rocks. Way better than the others. Get on up there. Go nice and smooth on the throttle. Doesn't sound like it, but I am. Okay, there you go. Bump, 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 bump. Go down the hill. I'm very impressed with the sounds. Like I said that in the tutorial, but every vehicle sounds different and it feels different. Every one of these different uh, vehicles just. They don't, they don't all drive the same. Go down for this. Don't tear it up. There we go. Oh, man. Look at We make quick work of these rocks in this thing. <laughs> this thing is mean. I want to see these tires in action here. Whoa. Big rock. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah, look at that. We destroyed him in that thing. Holy cow. That was awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this first look at Overpass. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me continue the career mode or do some more quick races. Um, and if you want to see wheel gameplay, we can always go down that road as well. But uh, that's going to do it. If you guys want to check out the game, check out the link in the description below. I'll see you next time. Take care.